I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> What's happening, Free Game? We are coming to you live, but not live, from inside our home, our Christmas winter wonderland in London. That's right, we've got a winter wonderland in London. Don't even think about the one in Hyde Park. This is the real one. All the snow's gone now, though. Yeah, all the snow's gone. It's melted, of course. Snow melts, right? And the snowballs. And the, snow, the snowballs are still going strong. They haven't melted, they're anti-melt ones. A lot of you actually guys were asking, saying, oh, uh, what about all that mess and clean it up? We're pros. We know what we're doing with stuff. We clean all that stuff up within like 20 minutes. Yeah, we? Jojo actually has a big tub of rice, like a huge tub of rice that he plays with all the time. This is relevant. Yeah. yeah, and he just throws it around the place and it gets everywhere. And we can, we've like learned how to clean it up in about 15 minutes. Yeah, parent goals, I'm telling you. You'll notice I've got the snow projected onto my face, like it's snowing on my face. That is deliberate as well, so it's not like, hey, what's that on his face? Yeah, you I, don't I, need I like to how it looks. I don't like how it looks. You don't need to say that. I do need to say that, okay? To find out why I have snow on my face and why we had snow on the floor, snow absolutely everywhere, watch the video up in the corner. And then you'll see how this ordinary room in London transformed into a winter wonderland that's better than Hyde Park. But today though, we are full in the Christmas spirit. We have some Christmas shopping things to do, but also... We've got some sad news. Yes, sad, sad news. Well, it's sad for us. Yeah, it may not be for them. Uh, kind of an end of an era for us, but the start of something new for us and for them as well, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But it's it's a, hard to get your head around though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's gonna be a tough day today, but we're doing a few things. Oh, I'm feeling tearful already. I know. About, like, I just, talking everything just went, ugh, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. It's part of our lives though, so we want to share it with you guys. But what is good and exciting, I've just spotted, and you guys don't know about this, is the most awesome advent calendar ever. Sorry, mummy. The most awesome advent calendar ever. Hey. <laughs> Jojo, do you want to show the free game your advent calendar? So Jojo can show you exactly how this works because this is brilliant. This is brilliant. This is better than chocolates. The only thing is, Jojo's made a bit of a mess in the bedroom. Really? Come and see what he's done. He keep they change the days as well. I know they keep changing that. That's not fair. How, I, how many days is it till Christmas? Today it's seven. He's going the other way now, saying six. Is it six? It's seven. It's a week today. So for when this video goes out, it'll be. I don't know what it'll be when this video goes out. Just put seven. At six. Get out. <laughs> What's going on here then? My goodness, are you making what a little... What have you done, Jojo? Quite a little cosy sleepover time with all of your cuddlies, right? Yeah. He's absolutely trashed the place. Poor old Max doesn't have a say in this, and the creeper, no, he's just about poking his head out. Mm -hmm. I've got loads of other guys on with me. The treehouse bear didn't even get a chance. The witch, well, she's not casting any spells upside down, is she? What right. do you think of this, Mummy? Well, it's all right, as long as you clear it up after. Oh, no. Under there, didn't even get a chance to smudge in. You need his little child, Broom, yeah. to sweep up all of this. He actually has some cuddlies called Rocky and Broom. That is their actual names. Anyway, Jojo, do you want to show the free game how this works? You can open up the advent calendar yeah, for today. Yeah, let's do it in the front room. There's too much mess in here. Come on. Too much mess. Come on. Show us in the front room. So in every little door, there's a little Lego set, isn't there? Like a tiny yeah. little Lego set. How cool is that? I hope this one is that helicopter. I've really been hoping for that helicopter. The best thing about this is when we got home from America, you had about six to open, didn't you? Yeah. All at once. Was it not? Actually, no, it was nine. Yeah. You what know? date is it? It's 18th. 18th today. You see 17? Yep, yeah, where's 18? 18. That's Get it right. open then. Ooh. I don't think it's the helicopter, but it looks like it's something. Oh, I reckon it's oh, that. Oh, it's that, it's that. Yeah, yeah, wow. It's a little car. It's open for that as well. Right, Jojo, are you going to build that now? Yeah. Or, or, or are you going to magic it together? Oh, yes, yes, that would be a good idea. Oh, good work. Ooh. Nice. Well, let's have a look at this here. Let's put it on here. Oh, what is it? Nice. It's like a just some vehicle. Ah! <laughs> My goodness, the people in there, are they okay? Jojo, this is the coolest advent calendar you ever had. It actually is. Of course, Lego to build every day. Comment below, free game. Have you got an advent calendar? And what kind of one if you have got one? And has it got chocolates in there or sweets or something completely different? I'm really annoyed that I haven't got one. I haven't I mean, got one either. Well, no, a lot of adults still have them. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a little chocolate every day. Yeah, I've got one. There's like a paper one up there. Is there? Where's that then? Yeah. Is that the one? No, that's a calendar. That's a genuine oh. calendar for planning the year. <laughs> yeah, that's not an advent calendar. Yeah, we've picked at the paper, but there's nothing in there. Should we just write advent at the top of it? And then it's an advent calendar, but you get no treats. But the problem is, it's that's for next year. 
So it's like the next, we haven't got a December for this year. You ruined it. Should we go into Jamie and tell everyone the news? Yes. 7.8 seconds later. Hello, what you Hello. doing? Nothing much, just waiting for you guys. <laughs> My life. So do you want to tell them the news? I am moving out. Yes officially moving out she's leaving mm -hmm. home stop tapping bob looks bob's just tapping his leg like with nerves <laughs> I it's know. just weird saying it out loud that's all i know it's sad mm -hmm. well but it's ja jamie's like really really happy so basically i haven't wanted to admit this like but for ages she you've been staying other places staying at your boyfriend's house all this stuff and but i still keep calling this home all the yeah. time because i didn't want to like i just wasn't ready to admit it but now they're actually moving into a flat together so it's time i actually accept it i guess basically all all you're going to move all your things out of this room yeah you're probably going to leave loads of stuff here that you don't need <laughs> yeah probably and yeah so you're not moving out today it'll be about a week's time yeah so okay, basically right. jamie's going to be having christmas with us your boyfriend's going to have christmas with his family yeah. and then after christmas it's like you're officially be moving it'll in. be proper yeah so what we'll do is if you don't mind we'll take the free gang with us and we'll show you guys all moved in and yeah, of course show your new place is it really nice because yeah. no, I haven't seen it. You showed me a picture of it. Yeah, no, it's a brand new build. It's unfurnished, so it's gonna be getting all the furniture in and stuff like that as well. So, but for today though, I guess to help us transition, we're taking Jamie to IKEA to pick up some new things. I think it's almost therapy for us to just Shopping. get our uh, heads around this and just accept a bit better by actually helping. Yeah, but these things are gonna be for you for Christmas. Is is there anything we can do to stop you from going? Not anymore, no. We've already got the keys, we got them yesterday. Didn't oh, we get sorry. those handcuffs? Oh yeah, we've got some handcuffs. There we go. We'll just handcuff you to something. Radio, right that's always a good one. Handcuff you to me. <laughs> yeah. We would literally end up... Biting your own arms off. Yeah, yeah, nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. you had a choice, if you had to be handcuffed to one person, me or your mum, who would you go with? Neither. No, 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 if you had a choice. Come on, theoretical um, situation. What? I guess toilet and stuff like that, yeah. Oh, what? So if you if you had a choice to be... So, if it had to be handcuffed to me, or had to or be handcuffed... Me. Yeah, she's chosen you. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. oh. I, ne I never thought that would be me. Katie, that is not an affectionate choice. That is, oh, just anyone but Bob, basically. No, it's not. It's, yeah, it's because of the toilet thing. Yeah. I wouldn't mind going to the toilet in front of Jamie, but yeah, it's you. I wouldn't go to the toilet in front of you. Oh, hang on. That's wrong. You're not even involved in this. No one's handcuffed. The handcuffs are staying in the cupboard. Anyway, should we get going out and just help? Yeah, we've got and stuff to do. I've got stuff to do. I've got lots to do today. Okay, let's get a move on then, shall we? Yeah, so we're going to go and pick out some things then, yeah? Yeah. You're going to I've already got my things. eye on stuff already, so... Because she's literally got nothing at the moment. We have, we have like, two sets of shelves and a, and a clothes rail. That is literally all we... Oh, like, Doesn't sound like this is the right decision, that Jamie. Stay at home. Stay at home. But for those of you who watch all our videos and you like the videos that Jamie's in, she's still very much going to be in the videos. You you said yeah. that to me. You said That's she will be here. She's still going to be here a lot of the time and she's still going to be wanting to be in the videos and do challenges with Jojo and stuff like that. So yeah, you'll probably still see lots stuff. of me. Yeah, lots of Jamie. Okay, should we get a move on then? Let's yeah. go. <laughs> We're here at IKEA. Yes. I think the last time we came here, we got thrown out. We did a video of only eating food at IKEA for 24 hours. So we just ate here the whole day. Yeah, and we ended up getting thrown out. Yeah. If you haven't seen that video of your new free gang, check it out in the corner. It's a lot of fun. But it means we do have to be a bit covert today with our filming. To be like super agent spy, which James Bond style. Also, I have a power to camouflage as well. And also make the camera camouflage. Oh. Is that camera flage? Yeah, so I think, <laughs> should we eat first? You can't come to IKEA without having veggie balls. No. Veggie eating first. We all agreed. We don't care about crash. We don't care about the buying stuff. We are eating first. Yeah, veggie balls and chips. Oh. Food. Food. What you got there, Jojo? Yep, some veggie meatballs and also peas. Oh, yummy. Jamie, you didn't get any balls. So you're just having chips and rolls, yeah? Oh. You're not cutting the roll open. So stick the chips in. Hang on, hang on. Good you just time. did that. Good. Well, Stop that's... telling her what to do. It would be our last chance if she's leaving. Oh, we won't be able to tell you what to do anymore, Jamie. You don't tell me what to do anyway. <laughs> Get some peas on there for you, Jojo. There we go. What's that sauce again? They give you it's like jam. Cranberry. Cranberry. Or as Jamie just said, to oh, me, give us some jam. Isn't it Loganberry? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like it might be called Loganberry. Do you reckon there's a guy out there called Loganberry? Probably. Yeah. 
Leave it in the comments below. Say if your dad or any of your family members, like any of your extended family, anything, is called, what was it again? <laughs> <laughs> Logan Berry. Yeah, Logan Berry, yeah. <laughs> Definitely comment below. We need you for game. Most urgent request ever. What are you doing there, Bob? Yeah. I'm doing my best to make some sort of forget thing. As you can see, there's been some problems where I've knocked things out of place. Daddy's making a baguette out of all his food on his plate. I that. You teach me that. I did it the other day with no stuff. But when I was eight, not eight, around eight, we used to eat all separately and now look at you. You taught Bob how to eat, basically. <laughs> So we put Jojo in the creche. That's food. the second best thing about Ikea is, <laughs> is it has a creche. He loves it there as well. He was so excited when he knew it was coming. But now we're going to be looking around so Jamie can pick out a few things for a new place, which I'm a bit conflicted about, to be honest, because it's going to be like... Every time she looks at something new, it's just like a, we're losing another part of her. I know. It's like, like, I need a sofa. And it's like, or you'll sit on it without us, though. Yeah. We have to do something to make it a bit more worthwhile and easier we've, for us. We've got to do something fun. Puns. Like B&Q. Do you guys remember the B&Q puns? Well, if not, you're in for a treat. Jamie, moving out and getting your own place. This isn't a game. It's a game. <laughs> this is depressing me, just walking around looking at this stuff. I'd rather be doing something I enjoy, like playing soccer. I'm not sure if I'm happy with the format of this video so far. I am happy. Bob? Where are you? Where's Bob gone? <laughs> Shut up, you two. We're gonna get thrown out again. He's running off. So far, so good. How are you feeling about Jamie moving out, babe? I'm not in a happy place. I lack the ability to feel happy about this situation. <laughs> I told you I like soccer, but one thing I don't like, I'm not interested in golf. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with you? You don't wanna mess with me, I'm a vankster. Jamie, I was thinking of something for you to buy us. Can you just stop being a silly billy? You like the looks of this, dear? 60 quid, are you taking a mickey? I'm gonna really miss Jamie this winter. With Jamie gone, I'm gonna be on me Todd. I like to go for the odd run here and there. I'm gonna miss you, Jamie, so much, but I want you to know that you're the best around. Bob, this is gonna drag on. Okay, we're ending it. So after all of that fun now, we're actually going to get some actual shopping done. Jamie's taking us around and she's letting me and Katie know what things she would like and then she's going to go home and then we're going to pick out the things and get them for her as Christmas presents so she won't know what she's getting. One drive home later. <laughs> What's going on you two? Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I oh, no, 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 come on, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bob's got a present for you, Jamie. What? It's, it's not Christmas. It's not my birthday. It's not Christmas related, although it is in Christmas wrapping. <laughs> no more friends. 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 Oh, you're being nice to each other. Right, come on then, it's in your room, the present. So as Jamie's going back to her boyfriend's today and we've made this day of getting things for her new place, I thought I'd get her like a, I don't know if it's a going away present, but it's just a present from me because, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you kind of really paved the way for me being a parent because when I met you and Sam, you were the one who was just like loving me and embracing me so much and you made it so easy for me to learn to be a parent and I don't know, regardless of who you've been, I've always kind of felt that special, that silly connection with you as well and, <laughs> When you told me on the phone when we were in Vegas and you were telling me, oh, you know, even though you spoke to your mum about going and you got a flat, and then it just hit me, wow, she actually isn't coming back, that's fine with it. It's, it's hard to take, I must admit. And like, I used to come to this room before and you were just saying your boyfriends and I used to just be like, oh, you know, she's out of the way. But now when you're gone, it was like, oh, it felt proper empty and I don't know. It's, you've, you've taught me so much about being a parent and I'm just so grateful to you for making it so easy and so nice and so I got you a little thing. I know, but it's, it's over here. We're gonna have that wrapping paper on it. Nearly Christmas. Is it? The picture doesn't help, so you'll have to go in the box. It's just a thank you from me, really. Oh. It's like a father and daughter model together, and it's just something then which maybe you can have at your house. It's really adorable. And then, yeah. Thank you. No, thank you. It's really cute. I love you. Don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> She's a martyr just round for dinner, which is good. 
it's just weird. It's just like nine or ten years, and you've just grown up so much, but you're still that kid, and it's just so weird because I'm like I'm there with you, but I'm not, and I have to let go and everything. And there's it's always this part of you. If anyone who's a dad or anyone who maybe a girl and has a dad knows that. I don't know, I just automatically want to protect her and that. And when she's stepping out into the world herself, I'm so proud of everything you do. She takes everything in her stride and is just the sort of person to go like, I'm getting a place, this is what I want to do with my life and I'm proud of that. But at the same time, I'm having to let go of that myself, so. I feel like this is still home and this will always be home. This will always be home. No matter what. Like whether I move stuff or not out of this room or like whatever this room becomes, this will still be like my room. Well, you're always going to have a set of keys to bowl in here whenever you want. And if we ended up having a new place, we'd give you a set of keys for there too. So, and wherever we are, would always be your home. You know that. I don't know. I'm still trying to like get over the fact that we actually got a place. Oh yeah, I guess. And because we got denied, like there was there was like a good three places before this place that mm. we we didn't we didn't get, and then this place came along. But I'm excited for you as well because it is a nice place and it's it's a new chapter in your life, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Are you excited? I'm really excited. Oh, cool. And you've seen that way as well, that you've taken full ownership of everything you buy and how you want mm -hmm. your life to look. Even if mum wants to influence everything. She was trying to like comment <laughs> in like here about some of the things Jamie said. I would like that. So we've got Jamie loads of bits for a new place, but she can't have those till Christmas, so you have to wait. Can you wait? It's a week. It is a week, isn't it? It's a week, week today. today, yeah. Damn. Maybe not for you three, gang, if you're watching this at a different time. So that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave your comments below what you think about this situation. You're going to be sad to see Jamie go. Does it even affect you? I don't even know. It won't affect them. <laughs> she's still going to be in the video. She's, she exactly. has said that. I think it affects me more than anybody. I was holding the camera a minute ago uh, when you were giving her a present, but I was getting quite emotional. But she's going to have us around for dinner though, so I'm sure we'll be... Filming around there. Yeah, and we'll. Uh, <laughs> that'll help us transition a bit better. It better be a good dinner. Hmm. It will be. Promise. Apparently shepherd's pie. Anyway, before we finish up, I'm going to do a shout out for one of you lovely free gang who has requested them. And today's shout out comes from Meg Upton, who says, it's my birthday in three days. Please can I have a shout out? I will be 15 on the 20th of December. So happy birthday, Meg, for the 20th happy of birthday. December. Happy birthday, Meg. And if any of you guys are new to the channel and you like seeing our lives and how we go to Ikea, have to be discreet and come out with all sorts of puns and then have to say goodbye to our daughter, then we'd love it if you subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep up to with all our latest videos and we will see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching peace, peace out, out. Bye.